Alright, alright, how's it going guys, Squeeze you here and welcome to another video here on my channel. Uh, today I bring to you guys No Man's Sky Oranges, uh, um, Origins, and uh, yeah, 3.0 they call it. At this point, 3.2, I came late to the party, but anyways, I gotta do it because I like the game a lot actually, but it before... Uh, we go to you know through what I want to say and how I want to show you guys Let me just say that did you guys know that subscribing to my channel also liking a video or disliking for that matter and Commenting on it. It's totally free Get on to it. All right, so We all know to find the those uh, archive libraries we need to either find them around the planets or pay for a map that will uh, literally you know show you the way to find one I was just going around planet to planet to see like the new planets as they said they would be like thousands of, upon millions of new planets um, and I came across one of these giant structures with uh, some sort of library and it got me to think of a lot of things but anyway so i'm going to walk through the library for the actually for the first time and uh yeah uh, the storm was clearly i think yeah so i think we good so i was like passing by around here and suddenly i saw this structure like huge structure this is a good step for no man's sky towards massive cities just i mean just think like cyberpunk you know like that city full of roads and all that stuff uh lights during the night like a lot of npcs going around and you can drive on that city on those roads just think about it um but it doesn't matter so let's see because i landed uh i've been streaming art on twitch and I was like, okay, I, I think it's time to try to revive my YouTube channel. Although I don't think it's really going to work. I'm not a really good uh, content creator, but I always try my best anyway. So here we are. Uh, there's a lot of landing pegs, uh, pads, I, I've noticed. A lot of landing pads, a lot of entrances uh, there and downstairs as well, like a couple of them. This guy is leaving. All right, so what we got here, huge structure. And thinking of this structure being on No Man's Sky, I already know that you you cannot go up there. I assuming, right? So let's uh, check everything here. So this is to call the ship. There's another one over there. All right, all right. Oh, there, there's more computer to call ships. Okay, good. And there's a technology merchant here. Let me see. I think they sell pretty much the same thing. Purchase bullet planes, components. Yeah, it, it's the it's yeah it's it's pretty much the same stuff uh, they sell. Now this is where things change. Artifact change vault. You can do like two changes per per base I think let's see secure celestial archive curators seek artifacts of cultural or biological interest okay will be compensated for all contributions uh, submit a new artifact to the vault or in change no to exchange it for an archive equivalent or great quality I Currently don't have any because I was not prepared for this. But I think like you give one and you receive something in change with a greater or lower value, I believe. And um, let's see, what is this? Local information repository. Can you get like maps from here? Welcome visitor friend, this information repository for the planet Ointwons. Historical databanks indicate several lo 
local sites of GEC cultural significance. Directions are available. Dispense planetary chart. All right, I can pay nanites for this. What are you giving me? Coordinate sprinting complete. Ah, oh, don't really know what is it, but we'll leave for later. Okay, there's a envoy. It looked more like a. I remember strong spawn weak mercenary guild does not know. The alien aggressive tone rough and donated the mark out to the mercenary. Okay. It actually doesn't give me anything. Oh, there's a storm coming. That's bad. And this is a gal galacti um, galactic terminal. Sorry about my reading. I, I just came out of a, a very awful treatment. So I'm not like in the best of the best to like read and stuff. But anyways. So we have a big machine that we can interact Celestial, oh, it's called Celestial Art uh, Archive, Planetary Archive. You can call it both like different things. Is there a way to go up there? I don't think so. Yeah, it, it's the same of the um, anomaly, like where we, the place we go to be with all the other players. Um, there's, it, it, it's not that big, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, you, you have everything you need in there, but there could be like a lot of other stuff like, okay, I will leave it for the actual ending of the video. Okay. Let's see here what we got here. Greetings, friend, knowledge archive access is forbidden to all but Gek. I'm not a Gek dude. Awaiting speech. The Gag Archive is intended only for its own species. Ancient audio equipment drones in low frequency. Seemingly, seemingly expecting a voice command. Oof. Requires. Argument. Pirate. Trapped. Let's go with uh, Eggment. Eggment? Archive access granted. Hmm. It's either I'm very lucky or any of those uh, options, they work, whatever you kind of choose. Decrypt archive. The interface accepts memory smells. All right, filling the room with a dedicated accent. It tries to fill my mind with visions of places that I never were, never could be. The imprint of an individual Gek lingers in the interface. They must have to spend years in this interface, constantly whipping their own memory in order to experience fictional lives. Their simulation fantasies are still available. I don't think it, it, it matters. Let's go with family. Maybe... Family? A phenomenon, uh, for, for, for the, the pheromones project another mind into my own. I think what is going on here is depending on one of those choices that you choose on the beginning and now, they will give you maybe something different. But that's something that we had to try it and see. In return to Ute and Simbling, and I play beside the spawning pool. The spawning pool is the old world. I'm innocent to trade, to units, to the hesitate hunger. Here we will stay forever. Oh. So, and, okay. It gives you knowledge about, knowledge maybe bits of story about the Gek. And depending on one you uh, select, it will give you something different. I'm pretty sure of it. But, as we, I, not we, I, don't really want the video to be that long uh, because I, I haven't been doing videos for a long time. So let's find a, a different place. A 
Okay. These are the feet of the huge structure. I don't believe we have uh, an entrance. No, we don't. We have a lot of stairs, though. This one goes up to another landing pad. And that goes for the main landing pad over there. Oof, we're safe here. Okay, we have like small tunnels around the base. Let's uh, see this one. Oh, this one actually has another artifact uh, vault thing. Oh, nice. And there's another one. It seems like you can do a, around like four to five, maybe, if there is another one here. No, and there isn't. You can do like about four exchanges for artifacts. Okay. So we go back here to the ship and we're going to walk up once again. There's nothing there. That could be like an outpost, but it's not. All right. Okay, let's talk about what I was thinking uh, when I saw for the first time the trailer of No Man's Sky. So here's the thing. This is a huge opportunity uh, and a, a huge tap for this game. Actually, you know, there's like a lot of um, potential here. Starting with this building, all right, so Besides this building, there could be, here could be like another store. But like, they could ex spread specific stores, like uh, only uh, uh, only store for upgrades for a certain type of weapon, a certain type of ship, uh, a certain type of vehicle. So they could have more shops, more variety uh, to it. Also, on the top of this, it could be some sort of like renting motel or some other stuff. Like uh, they could have like a huge garden up there where people could sit and talk to each other. But this is just small ideas that you could do. Or a museum, which you go like you take an elevator and then you, you see like pictures, maybe pictures by GAC players. Uh, pictures by uh, uh, other sort of alien uh, class existent in the game, Corvex or the other ones. Uh, you know, like a huge library of pictures. Another idea. And I know probably in the future there will be cities. This is just like a small step to it, which brings me to the cyberpunk thing, uh, kind of. You know, you could have your own house instead of building one. It's, you know, you're giving the players more choices. You could live on that planet, on that house, and be there, like, forever. But you could also have uh, the, the choice of going away for a couple of weeks, traveling between planets, and come back eventually. Um, obviously, there's only a limit to 16 players on PC, I guess, and 12 on consoles. I'm not quite sure on that one, um, but I'm pretty sure they can sur surpass that in the future uh, without any problem at all. Uh, I mean, it's PC has a lot of potential and also the next gen consoles like PS5 and Xbox, Xbox Series X, X, all right. It, it, they have like this huge name, uh, Microsoft, you, you need to, uh, you know, Pull yourself together with the name of the console anyways um there's like a lot of potential to this also um about the the freighter i wish you we could bring the freighter to the atmosphere of the planet like or even land landing you know if you if we had this huge city where you could land uh, freighters uh, that would be cool as well. This is just ideas. We know this might take like a long ass time to to happen or will not happen at all 
um, don't take me wrong, I'm very grateful that they went this far with No Man's Sky, which is amazing. Uh, honestly, really, really cool. So the same uh, can happen with the anomaly. There's a lot, a lot of potential in in the uh, anomaly that we could do a lot of things in there. But anyways, I would do a separate video with um, a list of ideas. I know that Hello Games will never <laughs> probably uh, watch this video anyway, but maybe you guys can like spread the word. Um, and I also watch a lot of other YouTubers and they have like these crazy ideas for No Man's Sky. It doesn't seem uh, really complicated though. One of the ideas I really want for the most is have a ship big enough to have another ship inside or a vehicle that you could like go around enter the planet and go out of the planet so this is pretty much it guys um thank you so much for watching so far i hope you guys did enjoy don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and a like if you like it and also do you guys remember the video i did trying to reach the sun I think it's time to do another one because the previous video we could see like a lot of uh, things on a dashboard of the ship disappearing and I wonder if they did fix that. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.